Hello students, in this video I am going to solve exercise 1.2 of NCRT textbook. So before starting with the exercise, let us understand the concept which is required to solve the questions of this exercise. So let's start. Empty set. A set which does not contain any element is called empty set or null set or the void set. So these are the words for empty set, null set and the void set. Any set which does not contain any element. So this we will understand with the help of few examples. So example first I have taken let A is A is any set. So its characteristic is mentioned here. A is equals to X such that X is greater than 1 and X is less than 2 and X is a natural number and we all know natural numbers are 1, 2, 3 and so on and here you can see there doesn't exist any natural number between 1 and 2 so therefore A is the empty set because there is no natural number between 1 and 2. And whenever we write empty set, we can always write empty set like this. Only curly braces or it can also be written as phi. So these are the two notations uh, of the empty set. Now let's discuss few other examples for better understanding. Example number 2 b is equals to x such that x square minus 2 is equals to 0 and x is a rational number. Then b is the empty set because x square minus 2 is not satisfied by any rational value of x. Let's see here. See x square minus 2 is equals to 0. If x square minus 2 is equals to 0, it implies x square is equals to 2 which means x is equals to plus and minus root 2 and we know root 2 is irrational number. So this is not a rational number, this is irrational number which means here it is mentioned x is a rational number but after calculating the root of x we got to know x is irrational number. So which means here b does not contain any element and if it does not contain element any element so it means b is equals to phi or empty set. Example number third c is equals to x such that x is an even prime number greater than 2. Here also we can see c is empty set why because 2 is the only even prime number. Now fourth example, x d is equals to x such that x square is equals to 4 and x is odd. Then d is also empty set. Why it is empty set? Because we know if x square is equals to 4, it means x is equals to plus and minus 2. And plus and minus 2, we know this is even number. It is not an odd number and here it is clearly mentioned x is an odd number. But this condition is not satisfying any odd value of x. Therefore, d is also equals to phi or it can also be written as this. See, inside, if we, if we write like this, it does not mean that particular set is empty set because it means the set has one element and which is equals to this. So that that's why whenever we are writing empty set, it should always be written as only curly braces or phi. Both of these together we can't write. So let's move further. I hope you have understood the meaning of empty set. Now the next two types of sets we have finite set and infinite set. A set which is empty or consists of definite number of elements is called finite otherwise th that particular set is infinite. So here let's understand this with the help of examples. See here the definition is telling if a set is empty or consists of definite number of elements then only it is finite otherwise this set is infinite. So examples here I have taken let W be the set of days of the week. So days of the week we know if I am writing set of days of the week it will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and up to so on 
only seven days are there sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so finite elements are there which means since elements are finite this means this set is finite set the next one let s be the solutions of the equation then s is finite see if x is a solution of this equation x square minus 16 is equals to 0 see this equation is quadratic equation and we know quadratic equation has two roots that means two solutions will get which means number of elements of this set s is equals to 2 so if you simplify x square minus 16 is equals to 0 you will get its value plus 4 and minus 4 see it has finite number of elements or we can say number of elements in this set is equals to 2 which means set s is a finite set third example let g be the set of points on a line then g is infinite so if this is a line this line it can have infinite number of points see so many points it can have so we can't count the point basically something which we can't count uncountable thing means it's infinite so that means here g if g is a set of points on a line then g has infinite elements and if it has infinite element which means g is an infinite set now the next thing which we have to discuss is equal sets So equal sets, I have already written the meaning here. Two sets A and B are said to be equal if they have exactly same elements and we write A is equals to B. See two things are there. They should have exactly same elements and they should also have exactly same number of elements. So we'll understand this also with the help of example. See equal, equal sets we write like this A is equals to B in unequal sets we write like this. See, equal is A is equals to B and if the sets are not equal and if they are unequal we'll write like this A is not equals to B. So let's see examples here. Let A is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. See it has how many elements? 4 elements it has. And B is equals to 3, 1, 4, 2. How many elements it has? It also has 4 elements. So first of all, number of elements are same. And you can see A has 1, B also has 1. A has 2, B also has 2. A has 3, B also has 3. A has 4, B also has 4. So all the elements are also same. So which means here in this case, A is equals to B. Next, uh, next example, let A be the set of prime numbers less than 6. So, set of prime numbers less than 6. So, I can write it A will be 2, 3, 5. So, these are the only prime numbers which are less than 6. So, set A is this and uh, we have another set P. P be the set of prime factors of 30. See, so we write prime factors of 30. So, prime factors of 30 are also 2, 3 and 5. So, we have only these three prime factors of 30. Which means, you can see both of these A and P, the number of elements is 3 and all the elements are also same. So, 2 is there in both, 3 is also there in both sets and 5 is also there in both sets which means A is equals to P. So, these are the few types of sets which we have discussed now. The first one was empty set. Second one was finite and infinite set and the third one is equal sets. So, this information or this concept we will use while solving the questions of the exercise so let's start with the exercise now here i'm going to start exercise 1.2 so first question is there which of the following sets are examples of the null set see null set means empty set null set empty set and void set all the three are same okay let's see the first one is Set of odd numbers divisible by 2. Set of odd numbers divisible by 2. See, we know one thing. All the numbers which are divisible by 2 are always even. So, the numbers which are divisible by 2 are always even. We don't have a single number 
single odd number i can say which is divisible by 2 which means this set is empty set because we don't have a single element here so when we don't have any element the particular set is empty set so first one is empty set second one second set is set of even prime numbers so set of even prime numbers if i am writing set to be even prime numbers i know we have one even prime number that is 2 so in this set we have one element which means this is not an empty set because if if we have at least one element also that set is not an empty set so third one x such that x is a natural number so x is a natural number x is less than 5 and greater than 7 see if i have natural numbers so natural numbers are in this order 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so because 7 and 5 are there so that's why i, I have written these two so in increasing order i have written so they have mentioned x is less than 5 see if it is less than 5 and greater than 7 we don't have anything over here so less than 5 all the elements are here and greater than 7 all the elements are here so nothing that means not, x cannot have any value because nothing common is there in between these two so which means if we don't have any single element here which means this set is an example of or this set is a is an empty set because no element belongs to this set so fourth one we'll do now why is a point common to two parallel lines so parallel lines i am drawing so this line and this line so these are two parallel lines so why is any point which is common to two parallel lines see parallel lines if you are increase if you are extending also you can see at any point of time they will not have any common point you can see here if i am taking this point this point belongs to first this line so it does not belong to other line same way if i am taking point this suppose this is point a this point b point a only belongs to line first point b only belongs to second line so it's not at all possible that parallel line can have two parallel lines can have common point so if there is no point no common point that means this set also will have no element at all which means this is also an empty set so once again i just say first one set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2 odd natural numbers are not there so this one is in this one is empty set set of even prime numbers we had one element over here which means this is not an empty set third one again we don't have any element common element belongs to both the categories like x is less than 5 and greater than 7 so that means no element which means this is an empty set same way fourth one is also an empty set let's do next question which of the following sets are finite or infinite see so if element if any set has finite elements or if it is an empty set that means the particular set is finite or else it is an infinite set so first one first one the set of months of a year the set of months of a year so we know if i am writing this set so it will have how many months so 12 months are there so that means this set will have 12 elements so if it has 12 elements so which means this is a finite because we can count january february march like that we have 12 months so number of elements are finite which means the set of months of a year is a finite set second one we have any set 1 2 3 and so on this set you can see so on means this is actually a set of natural numbers so here we can't can here we can't count how many numbers we have because the outermost boundary is not there see you can see up to so on it is mentioned so that means the elements are infinite if elements are infinite this means this set itself is an infinite set so third one third one is 1 2 3 so on then 99 then 
so this example in this question you can see we have how many elements here we have 100 elements because it's clearly mentioned 1 to 100 number numbers are there in this set so that means how many elements we do have we have 100 elements in this set so 100 it's finite number which means this set is a finite set so fourth one the set of positive integers greater than 100 so positive integers greater than 100 it, it is 101 plus no so so many are there so if this is a if this is a number line suppose here we have 100 so 101 102 3 4 so on it will continue so that means set of positive integers greater than 100 is also an example of infi infinite set because here this set has infinite elements then fifth one the set of prime numbers less than 99 so set of prime numbers less than 99 see 99 is the upper boundary that means the greatest number is 99 all the other numbers are less than that so which means again this set is a finite set because finite number of elements are there because they have only mentioned set of prime numbers less than 99 so less than 99 is making it finite set if it is mentioned like that set of prime numbers then in that case it will be infinite set so remember one thing whenever upper boundary is given so in those cases we will always we will have finite elements so those sets will be finite set so once again i just tell first one set of months of a year is finite set because elements are finite second one it's infinite because the number of elements are infinite third one again it's finite because number of elements uh, is 100 so which is finite the set of positive integers greater than 100 it's infinite the set of prime numbers less than 99 is finite so let's do next question question number third said which of the following set is finite or infinite so very similar question to the previous one again we just have to mention whether the particular set is infinite or finite so first one the set of lines which are parallel to x-axis see if these are the x's this is x-axis this is y-axis so set of lines which are parallel to x-axis so parallel to x-axis we can draw infinite lines infinitely many lines you can draw parallel to x-axis which means this is infinite set then second one the set of letters in the english alphabet so set of letters in the english alphabet in english alphabet we know 26 alphabets are there so 26 is a finite number which means this set is a finite set the set of numbers which are multiples of 5. See, multiples of 5s are 5, 10. Like this way, if you continue, there are infinite multiples of 5. So, which means this set is also an infinite set. See, upper boundary is not given. Like multiples of 5 less than 100. Like that, it's not given. So, which means this is an infinite set. So, let's do next question. Okay, so here we have few more parts of this question. So we were doing, so three parts I have done. So fourth one, the set of animals living on the earth. So set of animals living on the earth. See, animals can also be countable only. So which means finite number of elements it will have. So this set is a finite set. The set of circles passing through origin. See, this is, this is again x-axis and y-axis. So here this this point is the origin. Here from origin, see again finite infinitely many circles can pass through origin, which means this is also an infinite set. Let's do next question. In this question, we have to state whether see two sets are given, set A and set b we just have to state whether both the sets are equal or not so first of all count the number of elements if number of elements are same that means both the sets they are equal secondly you have to check the elements also same element should be there like first one if we see 
So first one, how many elements A has? 1, 2, 3, 4. And B, 1, 2, 3, 4. See, both A and B, their number of elements are 4. So now we have to check elements also in A. A is there. B also contains A. Then A has B. B also has B, small b. Then A has C. B also has C. D, A has D. B also has D. So all the elements are same, which means in first part, A is equals to B. Second one. Second, again, we'll first of all, number of elements, we'll check 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, number of elements are same, but we have to check whether the elements are same or not. 4 is present in A. 4 is present in B. 8 is present in A, 8 is present in B. 12 is present in A, but 12 is not present in B, which we see all the elements should be present. Here 12 is there in A, but 12 is not there in B, which means A is not equals to B. So in this case, A is not equals to B. Now let's see third one. In third one, uh, A's elements are given to us as 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. And it's given to us, B's elements, it's given to us in the form of set builder form they have mentioned. So let's read it. B is equals to X such that X is positive even integer and X is less than equals to 10. So I'll just rewrite. See A's elements are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. B's also, let's write. B is equals to, see X is a positive even integer. Positive even in integer starts from 2. Then 4, then 6 then 8 and 10. Why we have to include 10? Because they have mentioned x is less than equals to 10. So here 2 is present in A and in B also 4 is also present in both. 6 is also present in both. 8 is also present in both. 10 is also present in both which means A is equals to B. So the third one also A is equals to B fourth part. A is equals to x such that x is a multiple of 10. And B is equals to, see in A multiple of 10, if we want to write the elements, we can write 10, 20, 30. So its upper limit is not mentioned. I just write up to so on. See so with so on three dots, we can write. So these are the multiples of 10. Here only they have mentioned A is equals to X such that X is a multiple of 10. Now B is set what they have given 10, 15, 20, 25 like 30. So here we can see 15 and 25 is also there but in set A we don't have this 25 and 15 which means A is not equals to B because all the elements should be same in both A and B then only these two sets will be equal. So in first one A is equals to B, second one A is not equals to B, third one A is equals to B and fourth one A is not equals to B. Now let's do next question, question number 5. Again we have to write whether the following pair of sets are equal or not. Give reasons. So same question like previous question. So A is equal to, we just have to mention whether the given sets are equal or not. So A is equal to 2 comma 3. But in B what they have written, set B is a solution of this one solution of this equation. So equation is given to us. I just write the equation. First of all, let's find the solution. So it is a quadratic equation x square plus 5x plus 6 is equals to 0. See quadratic equation here. I am just solving it. I am not explaining how to solve. I hope you people know already. So it is 2x plus 3x plus 6 is equals to 0. So x into x plus 2 plus 3 into x plus 2 and when I am simplifying it I, I will get x value as minus 2 or minus 3 that means what is the value of set b set b is equals to minus 2 minus 3 but what is the value of set a 2 comma 3 see quadratic equation I have solved I have shown you the solution. So here it's mentioned B is equals to X such that X is a solution of this one. So solution of this is minus 2 comma minus 3. But A is equals to 2 comma 3 elements are not same which means A is not equals to B. Second one part second here I will write 
In second part, you can say a is is equal to x such that x is a letter in the word follow. So if I have to write this set, I just write all the letters. So f I will take, then o, then l. So l only one. So in previous video I have told you. So we'll not repeat the element. So two times l will not write only one single time. We'll write then o also we have written once. So twice we will not write then w. So a is equal to if I have to write the letter in the word follow. So a set is equal to f o l w. So let's write set b also. It's b is equal to y such that y is a letter in the word wolf. So wolf has w o l and f. So f is there in both. O is there in both. L is there in both. W is also there in both. Which means in part second a is equal to b. So in first one a is not equal to b. In second one a is equal to b. So next one will do. The last question of this exercise, from the given sets, we have to select the equal sets. So all the sets are there. First a set. So two, four. So we just have to check which of the sets are equal. So a has two, four, eight, and twelve. So with this C, let's check. C has uh, C does not. It does not have uh, two. Okay, so A is not equal to anything. C is also not equal to anything. Then B will see one, two, three, four. D, if we see, it also has one. It is. It has two. It has three. It has four. So which means C. All the elements of B and D they are same. So which means B is equal to D. And then E is minus one and one. F is zero comma A. H is zero comma. So H and F they are not equal. But E's elements are minus one and one. And G's elements are also one and minus one. So elements are same, which means E is equal to G. See order order of the elements. It does not matter here. It doesn't matter. So that's why. Here, if you see in E, it's mentioned E as minus one comma one, but G is one comma minus one. So it doesn't matter how they are written, but elements are same because minus one is there here also, minus one is there, one is there here also, one is present. So since the elements are same, which means these sets are equal. So with this question, we have completed exercise one point two. I hope you have understood the exercise. And the exercise was actually very easy. We discussed here three types of sets. I just recap. First one was empty set, then finite and infinite set, finite and infinite set, and then equal sets. So which type of sets are equal sets? So these three concepts we learned in this video. I I really hope you have understood the video. And if you like the video. Do share it with your friends. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll continue next exercise in the next video.